This episode is brought to you by Videoblocks, giving you unlimited downloads of stock footage, motion backgrounds, After Effects templates as you can see here, and more. Check the link in the description for a free trial. Hey what's up everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got the unboxing and first impressions of the Pebble Time, which I did initially back in the Kickstarter campaign. So I've had this box sitting on my desk for about a week now, but I finally got around to it and this is my first Pebble product. I never had the original Pebble, even though it was extremely popular. As someone who really didn't like to wear watches, the Pebble just didn't have any appeal to me. I didn't think it was very good looking, um, I'm not a huge fan of an e-ink display. But upon the announcement of the Apple Watch which I did try out, and the announcement of the second generation Pebble, I thought I would give it a try this time and see how I like it. As expected, the Pebble Time campaign on Kickstarter broke records and it had 70,471 initial backers, equating into over $20 million. The Pebble Time itself does have some improvements in terms of a new design, which I still think looks okay. It doesn't look anything amazing, but it also comes in the steel model as well. It now has a microphone and also a 7 day battery life. Which is why a lot of people opt for a Pebble watch instead of any other smartwatch since this is sort of a smartwatch as well but due to its e-ink display it is able to retain a very good battery life. So I went for the black model, it is also available in white and red and also the steel variants like I had mentioned. And just ripping the tab here you can see that the packaging itself is very simplistic and flat, eco-friendly I guess. And opening this thing up, they included pretty much just everything you need and nothing else. Like I mentioned, a very eco-friendly package. You have the Pebble Time itself and the USB cable, which has a proprietary adapter, but it charges through USB. You also have a quick start guide as well, just telling you which button does what. So now moving on to my first impressions, after pairing up the Pebble Time which was very easy, you just need to enable the Bluetooth on your device and accept the pairing on your watch itself. You just need to download the app which thankfully was approved by Apple as I received my watch. And immediately after that, the software updates started. After the updates are done, through the app it will ask if you would like to enable notifications, um, location sharing, and all this stuff like that. Having not used a Pebble watch before, I decided to accept all of them and kind of just play around with the watch itself. Right off the bat, from your main menu you're able to change the watch faces and pick from a whole variety of them, something that my Apple Watch wasn't really allowing me to do. And other than that, there's just an app timeline. So there's just two main windows which consists of your watch faces and your different apps. Some of them are already pre-installed. You see right away there's already a huge variety of watch faces and one of the things with the new Pebble is that there is color e-ink, so it isn't just a black and white display. As for the apps, there was also a pretty big variety as well, including some fitness apps, just some utilities and notifications, but what really made me amazed about this watch is the fact that the battery life can last 7 days, something that my Apple Watch is unable to achieve. The app infrastructure is very good, which is pretty much why this watch was so popular. It is able to be connected to your device, notify you of different notifications, and still be used as a utility while maintaining the battery life. When it comes to the navigation, I kind of had to get used to it after using my Apple Watch for quite a few days. There's three buttons located on the right side that is just to navigate up and down and the middle button dismisses things. And on the left side, you have the power button which will take you to the general watch face. Just trying to get used to the menus here, there's the weather and stuff like that, but the way that you navigate around the menu is actually much easier than I had expected. But like I mentioned, I was kind of used to having a touch screen after using my Apple Watch for a couple weeks. Before we head out, let's take one last look at our sponsor. Videoblocks allows you to upgrade your creativity on projects with unlimited downloads of studio quality, affordable stock footage, motion backgrounds, and customizable After Effects templates as you can see here. With a membership, you have access to over 115,000 pieces of content in the archive, and new content is constantly being added which of course you can access at no extra cost. Whether you are a content creator or YouTuber, be sure to check out videoblocks.com and a free trial link will be down in the description section below. But other than that, this has just been my first impressions of the Pebble Time, and I'm not sure as of now whether I'll be keeping it or not, or if I'm going to be making any more videos on it, but I'll definitely be playing around with it over the next short period of time. 
The watch itself works great and I can see why a lot of people love it, but in terms of my first impressions, the look is the most important thing and I'm not the biggest fan of it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a bunch. And also leave a comment down below as to what you think about the new Pebble Time and whether you are planning to pick one up or already own the original model. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next video.